the marking of question two. So this is the first up is describe the structure of glycogen. When I was answering this, you obviously you can't really link it to the function. You're just looking at, is it a polymer? Is it a monomer? What bonds join it? Um, what type of reaction joins those bonds is often, even though that's not really related to the structure of glycogen, it's often a mark we'll see in a second. Um, literally, I don't check the mark scheme in advance. I do this live, so I, you get my live reaction, the type of bonding, and it's branched. So alpha glucose, glycoside bonds, condensation reaction, 1, 4, and 1, 4, and 1, 6 linkages, branched molecule. Okay, in fact, I think it's going to be easier for you to, to see it. Maybe if I, we can zoom in a bit more if I put it here. Polysaccharide, polymer, or, or polymer alpha glucose, okay? But I'm going to add that in next time. Maybe they're going to be more specific. I should maybe have said. But we get the mark. Joined by glycosidic bonds or branched structure. So we've got glycosidic bonds gets a mark and we got branched but there's only a maximum of two pretty happy with that pretty straightforward question to be honest with you i could see that this could be a three mark question potentially i think branched and glycosidic to be honest linking the one four and one six especially for um edxl and ocr students that's going to be more of a thing because they do a bit more emphasis on the linkages okay um suggest how glycogen is a source of energy so glycogen Glyken, glycogenolysis, the breaking down of the hydrolysis of glycosidic bonds to form glucose. Glucose is required to perform to produce ATP. Um, okay, so we've got hydrolyzed to glucose. Hydrolysis is the main mark there. Glucose used in respiration. Ignore broken down. They do not want you to be saying things like broken down. They definitely want you to be using hydrolysis and and wherever you can be accurate there you can say that someone asked me the other day can you say hydrolyzing hydrogen bonds well hydrogen bonds are not it's not a hydrolysis reaction to break hydrogen bonds so that's the only time where you don't want to be using hydrolysis is when you're talking about hyd hydrogen bonds breaking okay 2.3 so my answer, we've got suggest and explain the way the cell surface membrane is adapted to allow rapid transport, many protein channels for facility diffusion of calcium ions, e.g. for use of H to activate ATP A's. Membrane is folded to increase the surface area. Okay, that I could definitely have said that. Large, pro, large number of protein channels, many, which I think needs to be in there for facilitated diffusion. Large number of protein carriers for active transport. And note how it says active transport. I mean, I went with active transport just, I guess, because I've seen questions similar to this in the past. They generally will credit active transport over another type of facilitated diffusion. I wanted to separate it. Protein channels for co-transport. So any of those were acceptable. I actually just make that into a two. Okay, so the technique for answering this question was how many divisions take place? There are seven divisions. I think I helped you out with that in the analysis part of the video. Within how many cells do you end up with? If you start with one and it doubles seven times, there's one times two times two times two, seven times, which is two to the power of seven, gives me 128 cells. Evidence of 128 cells, I think gives me one mark. And um, we've got 3.3 times 10 to the five as, and we just divide the total volume by the number of cells to give us the one cell. And obviously we're gonna give the answer to the same number of decimal places. It will actually accept, interestingly, a greater number of decimal places, even though the standard is we use the same as is used in the question. Okay, so that is a further two marks, giving four total there. <laughs> 